When I found out that I had been elected um, as, as a Fellow of the Royal Society, um, it was a very great um, honour and um, a surprise because I would never have imagined it in my wildest dreams. And um, I guess it really made me um, realise just how uh, wonderful my students had been over the years and how, you know, through the years all those students had helped really the lab uh, achieve this recognition. So over the years my students have um, invented a whole range of different functional surfaces and these have been patented and um, they cover you know, anything that you can imagine that has a surface then there's some functionality that we can probably put onto it and add value to it. And to give you some examples of that We've made surfaces which are antimicrobial, so they can kill bugs, you can apply them to textiles. We've made surfaces which um, switch, so they go um, from being in one environment to a different environment by responding to the environment that they're in. We've made surfaces on which you can grow um, a skin tissue, so for example people have a high level of burns, then you can't take a graft from one part of the body to the other. So what you can do instead is you can actually grow those um, skin cells outside of the body. Um, and we've made surfaces, for example, which can separate oil from water. So when you have pollution, oil water pollution, um, from oil spillages, you can actually separate the water. And those are just some of the examples that um, my students have invented over the years and that have been patented. So the implications of um, our research are in two, two main folds. One is sort of commercial. Um, so in the past we've had three successful startup companies uh, based on uh, patented research from my research laboratory um, and that's led to you know, hundreds of millions of um, uh, devices being manufactured around the world. And the other aspect of my research has been to do with um, societal um, uh, aspects. So there we've really been working in developing countries um, you know, in sort of you know, all the continents around the world where we're working with um, sort of local communities and we're trying to basically use sort of our you know, knowledge gained in developing commercial products to try and uh, tackle societal um, challenges um, like antimicrobial resistance, water collection and water purification.